Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel once again. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 65. This question is very important from the, uh, from the interview perspective because this question has been asked in PwC company. But before moving to the problem statement, I have a request to all my viewers that if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing my channel so that you will get all my future video updates. And if you really like my video content, don't forget to give thumbs up. Now let's come back to the problem statement. It says that there are two tables namely uh, source and target and both these tables have only two column called ID and name. Now what we have to do, we have to write an SQL query to get the expected output as shown below. This is the output table we have to derive it. It should display ID column and derived column called comment which will have either only in source, mismatch and only in target as shown below. If you see the source and target table which is input tables, uh, here if you see the ID 1 and 2, it is present in the target table also 1 and 2. Right, and if you see the name value, it is also the same. Now, if you consider ID equal to 3, but in the target, it the ID equal to 3 is not present. That's why this record ID equal to 3 is present in the ID table with the comment only in source. Now, if you see the ID equal to 4 in the source, SRC table, it has the value D. But if you come to uh, target table, it has the value x so that means this this id 4 is present in both the table but the value is different that's why id is coming in the output table 4 sorry id equal to 4 is coming in the output table with a comment as mismatch now if you see the id equal to 5 which is present only in the target table uh, that's why you can see in the output table we have id equal to 5 and the comment as only in target so this is how this is what we have to achieve in the output table let's see how we can do this in sql server before proceeding to the solution let's see our input table once again so we have two input tables called src and tct so let me run both the table so here you you can see this is the first set which is the source data and this is the, again the second set that is TGT data. So from these two tables, we have to derive this expected output. So from this, from this input data set, if you will see minutely, you can see that the, those records which are matching, if you see the ID 1 and 2 are both are matching has the same value A and B. So if you see in the output, it is not there. So that, that means that from these data set, we have to ignore the uh, which are uh, the, those record, records which are matching. Now what we have to display in the output, we have to display only those records which are present either in the source table or either in the target table or whichever there is a present in both the table but there is a mismatch. So if you will see that, how can, uh, if you, you must be aware that, uh, that in the left join, we have the matching records from both the table and the extra records which are present in the left table is present in uh, or we get in the left join. So, uh, so if we apply left join, we will be able to get the third row, uh, sorry, third this ID, right? What if we have to get only the target? So if we apply a right outer join, we will be able to get this five, ID equal to 5 from the, uh, from the uh, TGT table. So what if I say if we are able to club both these the left join and uh, um, and the uh, right join, we will be able to achieve all these combinations in the full outer join because full outer join is a combination of left outer join, right outer join, and inner join. So all our uh, requirements will be will be fulfilled in by using full outer join. So let me first write select star from source full outer join full outer join target let me give alias also 
so that it will be easy to join here I'll give alias as D and will join on source sorry s dot dot ID is equal to T dot ID now let me run this full piece of code now you see we got all the combinations over here we have uh, matching records also see ID 1 is present in both the table ID 2 is present in both the table and we have the same name so what we have to do we have to get rid get rid of this these two records so that we will we will play around with these three three, uh, three sets of record and we will get the desired result so how to get rid, uh, rid of this two records first two records so for this record we will be applying a filter here by using where clause where s dot name sorry name is not equal to t dot name right if we are able to filter uh, see both are having same value so other than that all are if you see the value for id equal to 3 we have name as c but here it is null again uh, id equal to 4 uh, we have a uh, uh, value as d but here it is x so, so you can see that there is a uh, the, all the name value is not matching but one one thing uh, one thing you will have to consider you cannot compare a value with a null value okay so uh, it will not give a correct result so for that what you need to do you need to convert null with uh, with a space you can give a space col for that we'll use collage function here I am going to replace if it is null then I am going to replace with the empty string empty value and here also I am going to replace if there is a null value so that we can we will be able to compare it correctly so I am going to replace with null value so now let me run this piece of code so now you can see that id 1 and 2 is removed so our half job is done now we have to display id 3 4 and id which is present in the target is 5 this and then we have to drive another column called comment so first we will do we will get the id column so for that see for this id column 3 is present 4 is present over here here it is null so if i use a collage of this id comma this id so uh, uh, this collage what it will do it will it will give you first non null value so 5 will come over here so let me do this by writing a SQL query so i'm going to write collage collage of s dot id comma t dot id and will give alias name as id now let me fire this query now you see now we are able to derive the first column id column 3 4 5 now what we have to do we have to derive a comment column so for 3 3 is present is present only in the source right so for this what we have to do if you see for this id corresponding uh, for id uh, equal to 3 in the source id in the target is null so we can use a case statement over here so let me write case statement case when when t dot id t dot id is null then only in source you can see for this s dot id t dot id is null for this record which is present only in the target for this you see s dot id is null so we can write when when s dot 
id is null then only in target and rest it will be mismatch right so we will give else else mismatch and will end now this case statement and will give name as id okay now let me run this piece of code sorry and as sorry comment we have already derived id column so this is comment column now let me run this piece of code here you go you got the exact output record right this is how the expected output right so id equal to 3 only in source i have 4 id equal to 4 mismatch id equal to 5 only in target so this is how we can get this uh, question done by using full outer join and using case statement and we have also used collage function so that here so that we will be able to compare null with non null value easily so if you like my content please give thumbs up and if you have not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe it. Thank you.